starting today, our company is now Meta. Well, we've been talking a lot about the metaverse and what could possibly be in a metaverse. We're speaking through the metaverse. A metaverse. The metaverse. Meta was the metaverse. The metaverse. All you'll need to get started is a code editor, so go ahead and download Visual Studio Code for free for your operating system. After that, make a folder for yourself. Let's open Visual Studio Code and say File Open. Navigate to the Metaverse folder and open it. Now we have the Metaverse space right here. We're going to right-click and create a new file called index.html. Once you've done that, you'll need to write the boilerplate that looks like this. We have a way to host this file with. We can utilize an extension. If you go to Extensions and search for a live server, it should pop up with the live server extension, which looks like this. If you click on it, you can activate or install it. If you return to your file, you'll notice that we have a button down here that says Go Live. This is for testing our project, so you can either right-click on the file itself and select Open with Live Server, or you can simply be on the file and select Go Live over there, where it will say Opening up a port, and then host your file. So now that we have the foundation, we can look at the important component that we will need to employ, which is 3.js, a JavaScript framework that allows us to execute 3D objects in the browser. Let's go to the documentation, and then on the Create a Scene tab, we may click on this 3.js file. You can either press Command or copy the entire file, so we'll right-click, copy and copy everything that's here, then go to Visual Studio Code, right-click in our project, and create a file named 3.js, and put the entire library in there. Return to our index.html and import it here in the body tag. What we'll do is create a new script tag and give it a source, which will point to the 3.js library. Next, we'll use modules, so right-click and create a new folder called src, which stands for source, and then a new file called index.js. We're going to console.log now just to make sure it works. Hello, and we're going to save this file because we still need to import it into the HTML file for the program to be loaded into the DOM, so we're going to create a new script tag as well as a source and point to our source, and then index.js something important just add the type, and the type is going to be the module like so. If you look at the console log, you'll notice that hello was printed on the screen. Returning to the documentation, you can see that it's quite straightforward. You'll need three things. A scene, a renderer, and some geometry to show, and then we'll animate it for the loop to happen. Go back and put it in my space over here something like that. Now we'll quickly update it such that we can cut this out and refer to a variable named ratio instead. At the top, we'll establish a new variable ratio equal to the window's inner width and inner height. We attach the renderer to the DOM, which means that if we run this, we will see nothing on the page, because we need to tell the renderer to actually render something. We do this by referring to the renderer and telling it to render, which takes two parameters. We'll pass it the scene that we've defined up here. there we have it, a full-on black box where we can now begin creating 3D objects. Anything you do in real life can be done in this new metaverse. Welcome to the future of the internet.